kind of, it goes without saying, I am unsurprised at how beautiful you look today. I wrote that before I was seeing you, but since seeing you, I'm like, gee! Very far from the vision I saw returning from your Hindu. You are perfect. Well, 99% perfect. I wouldn't usually talk about the 1%, but if you leave your sponge in a full sink, get out. There are so many positive ways to describe you as a person, but your core values, core values are my very favourite. Your strength and tenacity is inspiring, continuously following your heart for the things you believe in, and I think it's fair to say that as one two in our relationship. You were kind to the core and will do anything for anybody in this room, which is why there's so many people that are here today to celebrate you. Too many people have walked to our bank account. We've got people that have tra travelled from New Zealand, yes. America, Scotland, Devon, Leeds, London, and then literally across the field. Yes. It's a nice day out, isn't it, Vicky and Andy? Yeah, lovely day out. Whatever journey you have made today, we are honestly, we are so appreciative of you to be here. Um, Hannah, you were the first person in my life when I first met you in left me speechless. But it was mainly because you had a marathon in eight weeks and you hadn't done any training. <laughs> Every session I barely got a word in edgeways, but I learned about the dinners you ate, the friends you had, the latest gossip at work, and your heels of the month. You made and still make me laugh about your little anecdotes. I left uh, David Lloyd to head to Australia in a bit to seek adventure. Coincidentally, we arrived in Cairns five months later. We had an unforgettable nine weeks travelling down the coast to the camper. And by the time we hit Ely Beach, I knew you were the person I wanted to eat noodles with and drink goo with for the rest of my life. If no one knows what goo is, it's bagged one. And it cost probably two dollars. Uh, we've moved on from that cuisine, obviously. But I do like noodles still, isn't it? Australia will forever be one of the favourite stages in my life, not only due to the friends that I call family and generally Australia, but because I return to England a better and more rounded person, quite literally. A person who knew what I wanted and who I needed. Yeah. It's good. Um, I have grown to be the person I am because of your endless support, advice, organisation and the constant push you give me to, to keep challenging myself. I appreciate the support through all the stupid things I sign up to, including the boxing match that left you and mum in tears, and the half iron man where you travelled and walked for hours to be there. Not many people would put up with the hours of exercise that leaves you tired and aggy and put up with the sweat marks on the floor. Swallowed but you have, and you will always support me, albeit through bitter teeth sometimes. You make me incredibly happy, and I like me a lot better when I'm with you. And I like me a lot. <laughs> if everyone can stand up, I'm going to end with some inspiring lyrics from one of your favourite artists. Yes. <laughs> I understand, because I get you emotionally. I'm not a man, but I can if you want me to be. I know how you think and what you like and what you need. Convinced you should run from me. I'm not what you planned, but I will be your man. Cheers, everybody.
Susanna Hilton. Take you, Hannah Lawrence. Take you, Hannah Lawrence. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I have a lot. I have a lot. Take you, Rosanna Hilton. Take you, Rosanna Hilton. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Rosie, you are my best friend. Your infectious personality, love of adventure and warm heart is what drew me to you. No. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Thank you for making me feel loved, making me laugh daily and for always believing in me. Today and for the rest of my life, I promise to be there for you, go on adventures with you and continue to make memories with you. I promise to never give up on us and to always stand by your side. Uh, I promise to sing karaoke with you in the kitchen <laughs> until 3am and create a home filled with love and happiness. I promise to be faithful to you and work with you as a team through good times and bad. I promise to support you in all your dreams and to listen to your endless stories about football and cycling. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I vow to love you unconditionally for the rest of our lives. Okay. <laughs> Just, uh, when I said I wrote eight sentences, I, I did eight bullet points, so it wasn't as long. All right. I can't promise you that I'll only ever own two bikes. I can't promise you that I'll stop signing up to crazy challenges. I can't promise you that I'll ever manage to clean the flat to your standards, or feed the cat at 3 a.m. But I can promise that I'll be your biggest protector, your best friend and biggest cheerleader, as you are mine. I promise a life of spontaneity, adventure and fun. I promise I'll wipe every tear that you cry, even if it is to selling sunsets. I promise we. <laughs> I, <will laughs> I promise we will continue to build the home and the family of our dreams, and I promise most of all that I will forever love you with, a, with every piece of my heart. <laughs>
realize what is right and wrong but since meeting Hannah you've been a beautiful person you've actually understood how to sort things out like Christmas presents with name tags I can't do this but you can you've turned into a beautiful woman I'm so glad you met Hannah I love you so much. 